While Joe Carnahan stays busy with a new The Raid remake, developing a script for X-Force, and prepping for the long and development Bad Boys for Life, the writer-director is also working on the video game adaptation of Uncharted at Sony. Carnahan recently spoke with ComingSoon.net, where he revealed his script based on the game is actually R-rated, and that's what he intended all along. Speaking about it all, Carnahan said, When I wrote Uncharted, I didn't spare the rod. I wrote it the way the video game is, they swear in the game, they're kind of foul-mouthed, and I kept that I kept all that stuff intact and I definitely didn't write it as a PG-13 movie. I wrote it the way the movie should be written. Roca, would you buy or sell an R-rated Uncharted movie written by Joe Carnahan? I would buy it, but with a bit of trepidation. I love Carnahan to pieces. That is a man's director. The Grey is fantastic. Narc is fantastic. These are very powerful films that appeal to me from a male point of view in what the struggles are of the main characters in those films, what they confront, what they have to overcome, and what things that they've hidden from themselves that they have to confront in order to overcome their obstacles in those movies. And he has fun with the A-Team. I thought the A-Team was a... I don't know why there's not a sequel to that. I really enjoyed that movie. Um, the, and Smoking Aces too. The thing that worries me about this idea for Uncharted is Uncharted is rated as T for Teen, which is essentially PG-13. They do have cussing but it's not like f this and f that and f and f and you know there's not a lot of that going on they're not dropping f-bombs left and right and the violence is in the game but it's not gory violence it's just what you see in these kinds of games that are rated t for teen it's enough violence but it's not crazy gory violence and so that's my concern with him making it an r-rated movie is you might be trying to make this a grittier darker film and that's okay the thing is you might be alienating the audience that you're trying to bring in to the movie so that's where my concern or my worry about him doing an R-rated film of this property comes in. But I buy it because I like Carnahan to pe like to love him to pieces as a director, and I will go see this just because his name is on it. I'll buy it just because Joe Carnahan as well. I didn't yeah. like the A team like you did, but but the gray <laughs> once again, Dennis, what yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the gray was <laughs> was pretty good. And, yeah. and uh, I have same concerns where I think he's probably writing a pretty good script, mm. but at the same time, I don't know if the movie will ever get made as a rated R film. I mean, we we have you know, with with Logan coming out now, and we had Deadpool, the people are dipping their toe into R-rated movies that are fitting towards the the, the kind of geek genre. Yeah. And, and maybe if Logan does well, maybe that will inch closer towards an Uncharted one. But I don't know necessarily if they want to have one. What I do like is he talks in, further in the interview about the differences between Nathan Drake and Indiana Jones right. and how they are, even though it's, it's kind of the same genre, it's, he, he's not the same character as mm -hmm. him. And I, I like that he gets that, but I just don't know if we're going to see a rated R uh, Uncharted. Ellis? Yeah, I would have to sell that too, because I think that in the way that Deadpool and Logan are so successful, comic book movies have been huge, have been the biggest movies on the planet for the better part of two decades. Video game movies have not been, and it still makes the studio very nervous to slap an R rating on a video game movie when the results have not been there to even indicate that you can get a good box office return from a PG-13 movie. Mm -hmm. They're still going to be very concerned about that opening weekend, so I think it's going to end up being rated PG-13. However, Joe Carnahan sounds like a guy who has a good handle on Uncharted and what that can mean, and I'm sure you're going to get an unrated Blu-ray version or whatever they want to do, but theatrically, I can't see Uncharted being rated R. Joe Carnahan is too busy. Do you see what he's doing? He's, he's got to wake up and he's got to worry about yep. X-Force and then the raid and then Bad Boys for Life and then he's got to play this video game in his spare time. That's a busy dude. That is, that is a hard schedule, man. <laughs> That's too much work for mm. one boy. That, that's a lot of work, but he's a guy who deserves all that work. So, you know, you, I'm with Roki. You keep slapping his name on movies. It's going to make me want to see them. Yeah. I'm going to buy this, but I'm buying it as a non-game player who really likes horror and likes blood and, and, and cursing in movies and things like that. When you tell me, would you rather see an Uncharted movie rated R or rated PG-13? Based on my limited knowledge of the game, I am going to want an R. I don't know if that suits the material, though, and I, I don't mean to bring up Logan again, but you, you had mentioned it a couple minutes ago. Logan is a good example of a movie that decided to go with an R rating, and the R rating serves the material well. So uh, just to for all of you out there who have played Uncharted mm -hmm. and know what kind of tone that game runs with, if the R rating can suit it and can help make it more cinematic on screen, fine by me. If that's not the case, then clearly I should be rethinking my answer because that game is popular for a reason, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't want 
a studio to say, oh, look at all these successful R-rated movies. Let's just try to make this R-rated because maybe it'll pop like their movies did because that would be a shame. And then what's the point in making the movie at all? I mean, I played the first <laughs> game and, and nothing really struck out to me as this needs to be rated R. Right. Where, where something like Wolverine, when you read the comic books, there's definitely a violence to to Logan that, that benefits and serves yeah. the story. I just don't know if this is the one. I Roka, it's clearly evident that there's a rift to this table that Dennis and Perry have seen Logan. You and I have. <laughs> I don't know why it? you haven't. Well, I was in well, St. Louis. Oh, I could, oh, here we go. At the Ha Ha Club. Yeah. Yeah. Can, I, okay. can I rub it in a little more? Sure. I've seen it twice. Oh, I asked you to bring me to the next second one. I asked you okay, to bring well, me to the Okay, well, I have something one. for you later yes. on the show. That, Great. That, okay. Uh, All right. Really? Would you, Dennis, yeah, yeah, would you want to see an... I would want to see a rated R X-Force. Would you? Sure. I would sure. love that. Especially if Deadpool but characters I, in there. It's going to be mean, hard for, to... I, I want to see Cable. Yes. Cable is the, the comic book character I want to see the most that yes. hasn't been done yet. I love X-Force. An R-rated X-Force would be awesome. I want all video game movies to be rated R from now on. That Tetris <laughs> yeah. trilogy, I want it rated <laughs> R. I want to see some sex in the Tetris movie. Oh, my. I want to see long pieces going into things. Next story. <laughs>